What's up, horror fans? I'm highlighting another one of my masks from my collection. It's being modeled today by my mannequin, Talkback Joe. It's a clown mask from Ghoulish Productions. They've been doing some really first-rate work lately, and I finally got a mask that the mask wizard hasn't already done a review of that you know all my masks that I have so far for the most part he, he's already done a better review of them than mine so oh but this one he doesn't seem to have done yet I seem to notice that he doesn't like clown masks or at least he hasn't reviewed any so maybe I ought to change my the thrust of my reviews to scary clowns and the people that love them but anyways this uh, mask I think is really really great and it's part of a bizarre theme I've been noticing this year for Halloween is a lot of companies seem to be putting out clowns with ice cream cones stuck in their eyes or on the side of their face or something like that and which is pretty cool you know I plan on I already have a white shirt button down one I plan on getting a bow tie and a and a pair of white pants and having him be an evil ice cream man at some point. But, but this one's really, really good. It, a lot of times I've seen it for like, I don't know, fifty, sixty dollars. I'm not sure. It, it's probably worth that because it's really fantastic. But but I, I lucked out and I got it for about thirty-three. No shipping or anything like that. It's a really, really good mass. The the cones are are thick and are attached to the mask good. There's fantastic paint work. The teeth have yellow on them. The, I don't know if you can see it on film, but the the beard has like hairspray on it or something and it has two different colors of hair. There's like gray hair interweaved into it. Um, there's, there's like bloodshot eye paint and you see ice cream that's melted dripping down his his face and there's like skin tone on the back and down the side and his face is painted white and I don't know I, I really really like this mask but especially if you can find it for for 35 bucks or whatever like I did on Amazon or someplace I say jump on this right away you won't be a bit sorry and ghoulish uh, productions have put out a lot of really really cool clown masks and they do uh, Pinhead and Bram Stoker's Dracula and I think they put out several Jason masks if I'm not mistaken and a lot of cool pumpkins and zombies and they're just a great great company and this mask is even though he's not like a, a licensed character like a guy out of Killer Clowns from Outer Space or one of the Romero zombie movies is really really cool just for a generic character. This mask is easily the equal of, you know, some of the more fancy high-end Death Studios masks and stuff like, well, maybe it's not quite as fantastic as that, but it's definitely as good as a Trick or Treat Studios mask. And I think the, the casting and the latex is actually thicker than some of my Trick or Treat Studios masks, so. I don't know, I'm, I'm blown away by it, so I highly recommend this guy. I think his name is Hell Scream, or I don't know, maybe I'm getting that wrong, but it's definitely made by Ghoulish Productions, so if you put in that, it ought to pop up on Amazon or Walmart.com or something like that. So anyways, if you want to scare people at Halloween, this would definitely be a mask that can do that.